Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to talk about Bitcoin because Bitcoin dominance is increasing, and I want to talk about that. So without further ado, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's hop into this video. So guys, right now, Bitcoin is trading just barely below $70,000. We did break above it shortly a couple hours ago, but now we're range bound. Anytime we are getting some of these quick impulse moves to the upside, they're usually turning into wicks, which tells me that a lot of these exchanges are stop loss hunting and are trying to liquidate the shorts, liquidate the longs. But eventually there will come a time where we will see an explosive move, whether that's to the upside or to the downside, leading into the halving or shortly after the halving, where we will see an impulse move that will continue and there'll be continuation. But like I've been saying in my pre previous videos recently, I think a lot of what's going on right now is there's just a lot of sideways price action, a lot of uncertainty leading into the halving. Is it going to be a sell the news event? Are we going to rally to the upside? I think a lot of people are kind of just waiting and waiting it out. So Bitcoin dominance is trading at 52.76%. When you exclude stable coins, guys, 54.76%. We are almost up a full percentage point in the past week, which is pretty significant. And I've been saying as we get around that halving shortly after, I do expect to target between 57 and 60% Bitcoin dominance level, especially when Bitcoin does decide to make that larger move, whether it's to the upside or to the downside. So let's take a look over here at the weekly. We are having a weekly candle close in about three hours and eight minutes. So far, so good. It's forming so, so similarly back to the previous cycle high when we broke above 60,000 on the way there to break the previous cycle high back in 2017 of about 20,000. We created this little bit of a formation and it took up to 50 days to break to the upside. And right now we are at about 40 days and it seems so, so similar when you look at this little formation and compare it to this. And sure, you can say, well, this was post-having Black Sea, and you'll say this is pre-having. Yeah, sure, I understand that. But I do think that it is a very, very similar formation. And what I'm seeing on Market Cipher with these weekly green dots, and especially on the monthly, seeing that we're not even, I mean, guys, we're not even over the 100 mark. We're still above the 60. We need to see the continuation above the 60 with this blue wave. The 60 is this white line right here. Guys, we have time. I think I've been saying I'm short-term bearish, long-term bullish. We look over at the weekly. Things look good. We look over the daily. We're consolidating, putting in a corrective move. Guys, we came up to 70,000 today. The real question is, do I think that we're going to break and hold above 71,000, 72,000 on the candle close? Probably not. So we're probably in for more range-bound activity and seeing this volume get really, really squeezed before we see that big move to the upside or that big move to the downside. And even if we do get a big move to the downside, guys, that's A-OK. -okay. Leading into the having a cool-off would be nice. It would be nice. I've been saying it for a while now. The longer we go sideways here and even to the downside, get a little bit of a corrective move, move and some distribution, the higher Bitcoin will go and the longer it will be in a bull market. Keep that in mind, guys. But if you like these quick updates, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel right now. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on where I think the market is right now. The price action has been a little bit wobbly. And sure, it's the weekend. It's to be expected to see these big swings to the upside and a lot of it get eaten up. But guys, be patient. Short-term bearish, long-term bullish. Bitcoin dominance is increasing. It's important to think about. Keep that in the back of your mind when you're thinking about buying altcoins right now. After it does make that larger move to the upside, the dominance level, then maybe we should start to think about, okay, the altcoins, maybe selling out of Bitcoin into altcoins if you haven't already and uh, if you really want to maximize those gains. But like I said, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel right now. Please go follow me on Twitter at 333BlackC. I'm very active over there. Just give away $100 of the crow coin to the followers that follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram at 333BlackC as well. Probably when I reach another 200 or 300 followers, I'll give another $100 worth of crow or Bitcoin or whatever to one of you guys following me. So please go check that out. But that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.